Do you need to load and orchestrate data from an FTP location to your ERP cloud service? Oracle Integration Cloud's orchestration pattern allows the execution of business processes and long-running activities. In this integration, data from a secure FTP server is sent to Integration Cloud for orchestration, and then it's uploaded to ERP Cloud. The data is pulled from the FTP location by using a trigger file mechanism. Integration Cloud schedules the orchestration flow for pulling a trigger file. It also has the ability to unzip and decrypt files. The file is staged in Integration Cloud. The zip file may contain multiple files, and each file may have multiple records. Because of this, a for each loop is needed to process each file and record, and to enrich or transform the data before it's written to a new file for ERP Cloud. Once the new ERP file is ready, it's uploaded by the ERP Cloud adapter in Integration Cloud. The adapter invokes the ERP import service and specifies a callback. The data loading and processing start on the ERP endpoint. Additionally, Integration Cloud allows the definition of callbacks. A callback receives logs and errors, encrypts them, and sends them through the FTP adapter. Let's build this integration in Integration Cloud. The connections to the ERP and FTP endpoints are already configured. For this integration, select the Orchestration option. All configured endpoints are available in the Invokes panel. Configure the FTP endpoint with a file name pattern to read a trigger file from the FTP location. Then, define a schema by using a CSV file that has the same format as the trigger file. The Actions panel is available to add activities to integrations. Define the Assign activity to declare the set of variables. Using the Expression Builder, set values for each variable by using functions. For example, to extract the zip file name from a relative path. To download and stage the file temporarily in Integration Cloud, configure an FTP endpoint from the Invoke panel by using the Download to Integration Cloud operation. Specify the input and download directories along with the Unzip option. Map actions are automatically generated every time new endpoints or stage file actions are added to the integration. In this case, the mapping sets the extracted file name. The zip file may contain multiple files. Use for each actions to enable iterating over a repeating element. To read each file from the input directory in Integration Cloud, configure a stage file action to specify details like file name and directory by using the expression builder. Specify the schema format by loading a CSV file that contains the data structure. When a file is staged in Integration Cloud, another for each action is required to iterate through each file record. After each iteration, transform and enrich the data. For this, add a stage file action to write each record to a new file. Use the Expression Builder to set the file name and output directory. All the enriched data is appended to the existing file. In this case, the schema format for the new ERP file uses the same data structure as the source file. Perform data mapping and transformations in the map action. Functions, operators, and XSL elements are useful to enrich and transform the new file for ERP. Once the new file is ready, configure a stage file action to write a manifest file with the business data details. The map activity allows the definition of the manifest content. Once the new file for ERP is built, configure a stage file action to enable re-zipping the file before sending it to the ERP Cloud endpoint. Use the Expression Builder to concatenate the zip file. Finally, add the ERP endpoint to import the data into the Financials Cloud application. The operation to perform in the target Oracle ERP application is import payable invoices. Once the data loading and processing are complete, an email notification needs to be triggered. Define the callback to retrieve more details about any failed records. Define the file references for the ERP endpoint in the map action, so the ERP system processes the rezipped file accordingly. Now configure a business identifier. This identifier enables us to use the dashboard monitor to track the associated payload field in messages.
One business identifier is required as the primary business identifier, but we can define as many as three. Activate the integration. After activating the integration, the activity stream can be monitored from the Runtime Health page, where the activity stream and diagnostics logs are available for download. Thank you for watching. To learn more, visit us online at cloud.oracle.com/integration.